I am Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And today we are back for another first time watching reaction. Uh, yes, today we're going to be watching a movie that neither of us have seen. And that you guys actually recommended quite a bit in our Shaun of the Dead reaction. And we aim to please around here. We do. We take your recommendations seriously. And uh, we're going to be watching uh, Hot Fuzz. Yes. So before we Apparently get... it's a British comedy classic. Am I right? Uh, I, it's supposed to be. I think it's made by the same people as Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. And I've been told that if you appreciate the humor of Shaun of the Dead, you'll I appreciate... Did. I did too. <laughs> that you'll appreciate the humor of this movie. Uh, so we decided we'll check it out. Might as well, because we both thought Shaun of the Dead was quite humorous. Yes. Uh, for, for the type of movie that that was. Uh, before we get started, though, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. and What you, are you waiting on? Yes, and you enjoy first time watching reactions, you enjoy trailer reactions and movie reviews, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Do it now or you'll forget. Smash the, the thumbs up and also ring the, the bell for notifications. Uh, but considering we know nothing really about this movie besides it's uh, comedy comedy, and, and made by the same people who made Shaun of the Dead, uh, let's go ahead and check out Hot Fuzz. Yeah, let's give it a try. Police Constable Nicholas Angel displayed great aptitude in field exercises. <laughs> Quickly established an effectiveness and popularity within the community. Advanced driving. And advanced <laughs> cycling. <laughs> advanced cycling, the face. Achieved the highest arrest record for any officer in the Met and sustained three injuries in the line of duty. Basically, the goat. Dressed as Father Christmas. Oh, oh! How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. <laughs> Your arrest record is 400% higher than any other officer. We're making you sergeant. I see. <laughs> in Sanford, Gloucestershire. That's in the country. Yes! <laughs> Can I remain here as a PC? No. <laughs> Do I have any choice in this? No! <laughs> no! I kind of like it. The fact is, you've been making us all look bad. I'm sorry, sir. Of course, we all appreciate your efforts, but... You've made us look bad. <laughs> it's all about being a team player. <laughs> You'll continue to be exceptional, and we can't have that. You can't, you can't just, just make, make people, people disappear. disappear. Yes, I can. <laughs> and that's what the team is going to make of this. <laughs> <laughs> They're on board. They're like, bye. It's me. I know I'm at work. What's the situation? We've been over this. No, I meant here. Think it's of a struggle, a complete mess. You are talking about here. Nicholas, what do you want? <laughs> Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Well, I'm not Janine. <laughs> <laughs> transferred. I'm moving away for a while. I know. Bob told me. Hello there. Well, I wanted to tell you in person. It was really it's not that long ago. We were talking about getting married. Yes, but you were already married to the force, weren't you? Besides, you were the one who suggested we take a break. Guilty people often make the first move. You're seeing mm -hmm. someone else. Is it Bob? Does Bob look like the kind of person I'd go out with? <laughs> Dang. Hello there. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I was hoping to uh, check in. But you've always been here. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought you were my husband. You must be such an angel. <laughs> yes, I am. Fascist. I beg your pardon. System of government characterized by extreme <laughs> Hag. I beg your pardon. <laughs> A three letter word. <laughs> Considered frightful or ugly. Twelve down. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Quite literally a play on words. <laughs> <laughs> well, like all these underage. Oh, they are. I just realized that. I mean, unless you sing this. Uh, but... When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. When's your birthday? 1969. You're 37. Oh, yeah. Get out. He said, yeah. <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, the way we see it, it's all for the greater good. The greater good. <laughs> That's as may be. The law's the law, and they'll have to go. 
The one kid has acne all over his face, like clearly early puberty. <laughs> <clears throat> Drunk driving. I hope you're not planning on driving that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then that's illegal too, I'd say. <laughs> when did you start? Tomorrow. Oh, well, I see you've already arrested the old village. <laughs> No, I'm force free. <laughs> hey, now I need to speak to him. Ah, he'll be no use till the morning. One pins on your head. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> He's always ready. I'm gonna do all the paperwork. Well, how's our guest? I don't know. Nobody told me nothing. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my god. <laughs> He's an officer. Yeah. Officer. Sergeant Angel at last. Frank Bottom once you've already met my boy. He played Bridget Jones's dad. Oh, yeah. That is Sergeant Tony Fisher. Hmm? PC Bob Walker. PC Walker. One Doris. She's in like everything. She British. in anything yeah. British. Is it Olivia Colin? Is that yeah, that's I think her name. So. Our friend of the living statue was he here Saturday. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. <laughs> I can't wait to jump into Sergeant Popwell's grave. I'm not jumping into anyone's grave. <laughs> what is it like being stabbed? It was the single most painful experience of my life. What was the second most painful? Would you read a homily at Sunday sir? That might be a little hypocritical of you, Renee. Yes. It's not entirely convinced by it. You're an agnostic. I think I have a cream for that. Neighborhood watch and lights. They're all so nice. I know. I am sure that all of you will have noticed the return of a blight to our streets. We refer, of course, to the extremely irritating living statue. <laughs> this is the big issue. <laughs> Aim at me. Morning, Angle. <laughs> the swans escaped. Yeah, right. And where did the swan escape from exactly? Ah, uh, the castle. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Peter Ian Staker. P.I. Staker. Yeah. Right. Piss Taker. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> The orange and black bill. Anything else? <laughs> Wait, it's a swan. Angel. Or is it angle? <laughs> Michael! Yar. Six, Yar. <laughs> Mr. Skinner, is there a problem? Well, maybe I'm not the one you should be keeping an eye on. Ah. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the stare off. <laughs> the statue man. <laughs> Mothers. <laughs> 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 that final. <laughs> he just ran through it. <laughs> Bit of a difference between the two. <laughs> over like some candy or something and there's the swan which one does he get <sighs> Shame Mr. Skidder doesn't want to press charges. I'm simply suggesting that uh, young Peter be given a second chance. <laughs> I'm 
Stealing biscuits is wrong. <laughs> there is a question to it. I'll make sure everyone gets their just desserts. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, can I scream? 27. Have you ever seen Point Break? No. If you'd have paid attention to me in school, you'd understand that it's not all about gunfights and car chases. <laughs> They're about to have a car chase. <laughs> That yeah. was brilliant. <laughs> we are staging a homage to not William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and I'm a little late for the dress rehearsal. Romeo, not Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just so casual. This is preposterous. Preposterous. Look, stop! You're right. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most important piece of equipment you will ever own. This notebook has saved my skin more times than I care to mention. I do use mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew it'd be something ridiculous. <laughs> Poison! I'll kiss thy lips. <laughs> Uh, congratulations to you and uh, to Mrs. Blower. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my wife. This is great. You've worked in the local council, Sergeant. I'm sure if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so creepy. <laughs> He's so intense. It just goes from like zero to 60 so quickly. <laughs> Again, let me extend my sincere apologies for earlier. Drive safe. <laughs> oh, drive safe. So there's like something going on here in this yes. town, for sure. Hopefully that's the last we'll see of him. Oh! It's like the Grim Reaper! To us. I think they might be the victims. Who is it? The Grim Reaper. Oh god. Oh god! What? I was not... This. Whoa! That took a turn. <laughs> oh! Oh! You'll be having nightmares for a while. <laughs> I think so. so Lost control, left the road there, and then ended up here. <laughs> They're just so insensitive. <laughs> and how would that explain their heads coming off like that? There never was a story of more. Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs> Excuse me? Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? News travels fast. I love Scrubble. <laughs> Skinner 3R. <laughs> 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 Come again. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Said, as his head, huh? He only chopped him down because he couldn't see you no more. Was he <laughs> He said an edge is an edge. He only chopped it down because it's for his view. What's Reaper moaning about? <laughs> Mr. Robbie, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't know this one. <laughs> what do you mean by this one? <laughs> wow. Wow. There's a lot of junk. Bob? Probably. What makes you want to be a policeman? Officer. What made you want to be a policeman officer? <laughs> I don't remember a time when I didn't want to be a police officer. It all started with my uncle Derek. He bought me a police paddle car when I was five, arresting kids twice my size for littering and spitting. <laughs> what about you? What made you want to become a police officer? Dad does it. <laughs> my mum died. She went fast because she died. Traffic collision. 
Oh, I wonder. Never mind. Hey. Wonder if it was a traffic oh, collision. Right, like the other one. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet there's gonna be a connection there. I'm just gonna use the little boys room. All right. Bits tomorrow. Oh, he'll be in bits tomorrow. <laughs> he says I'm so good. <laughs> it's like the, the craziest things. <laughs> He's little. With the village's rustic aesthetic. He's, yeah, he's got. A... <laughs> Doesn't really fit the look. And there's your change. God bless you. <laughs> I would not want to be here in the morning. Oh, oh. Okay, so they're definitely setting you up to think it's Timothy Dalton's character. Yeah. yeah. But that makes me think it won't be Timothy right, Dalton's like character. Right, like it'll be a twist. Point Break or Bad Boys 2? Oh, it's all movies. <laughs> Which one do you want to watch first? You are pulling my leg. <laughs> Never seen that movie, by the way. No, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it either. I've never seen that either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're just hoping to talk to the last peep to see Mr. Merchant alive. Nicholas Asswife and that Constable Fanny Barabon. That's us. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Come on, Dr. Sherlock. They were accidents. People have accidents every day. You didn't see anything suspicious. I know did. <laughs> Sanford's most wanted. The swan. <laughs> the swan all along. This is not funny, detective. Oh, give over, Miss Marples. Oh, because they're kind of in on covering up for whoever's doing this. Like, I'm just putting it together. So they distract with, like, stupid stuff. That's probably the case. I need to talk to you about George Merchant. Churchyard, three o'clock. Simon Skinner. Oh. Tim Messenger. Tim! Oh, oh. Just an accident. <sighs> you think? <laughs> I just don't think we should rule it out. Yeah, I think you're right. Did you find anything? Yeah. I was extremely shocked when I looked at my watch and discovered that I should be in the pub. Did you go to the Not everyone's a murdering psychopath. It's high time you realize that. You and your monkey. <laughs> Did you mean me or that? <laughs> Oh, maybe we should go home. Is there anything I've told you in the last two weeks sunk into that thick skull of yours? Yeah. <laughs> There's always something going on, Danny. Well, I remembered something else you said in all. You don't know how to switch off. <laughs> His run. <laughs> <laughs> he delivered that line in his friend. <laughs> I think with a little deliberation, we can figure out what links these deaths. Me? Come on, partner. <laughs> Maybe they were all accidents. Oh, we all accidents every day. There's been reports of a fire in the state. What? <laughs> what is she wearing? Where are you going? Personal errand. Hello, Miss Tiller. I was wondering, do you have any Japanese peace lilies? You going somewhere, Miss Tiller? Uh, yes, I'm moving away. You know that fella who blew up? Merchant. 
Father George and tells me this lamb's value about ten times what George Merchant and Martin Blower are dressed them up for me. Apparently they want to build a big shopping center or something. Oh! 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 oh dang! Oh! Get him! <laughs> You're saying this wasn't an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Great deduction. <laughs> the Leslie Tiller tripped and fell on her own shears. Ben Fletcher fell on his pitchfork the other week. I was buying Constable Bottom and a Japanese peace lily for his birthday. <laughs> That's what I thought. I chased a suspect from the scene. Innocent people don't run. Old friend the cactus, Steve. Oh, yeah, he was a prickly customer, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the boys here aren't used to the concepts you're bandying about. The M word, Nicholas. <laughs> I know who did it. Can I see the manager, please? <laughs> you know it can't be Timothy Dolan's right. character, because they've tried to make you think it the whole way. Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie Tiller. She tripped and fell on her own shears. Ow! <laughs> My suspicions were first aroused when you appeared at the scene of the Blower Draper death on the outskirts of San Francisco. <laughs> you... Very entertaining, but I rather think you've been watching too many films. Yeah. Why would I... <laughs> he hasn't. <laughs> Perhaps a wound you sustained on a piece of broken glass this very evening. This very evening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the store's security footage will absolve me. Do feel free to spool through. <laughs> will you escort the sergeant off the premises when he's quite finished? Yarr. <laughs> No luck catching them killers, then. It's just the one killer, actually. They're married. <laughs> oh, I got brainwave. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> you got a brain freeze. It's more than one person. Them again. It's more than one killer. You've come from a city where there's danger around every corner, and it's driven you round the bend. Sleep on it. And if you still feel the same in the morning, we'll get right on it. You gotta listen to your heart, Nicholas. <laughs> oh! Come on, Nicholas! Oh! oh. So Timothy Dalton is involved. She is. That's why I thought he'd just be really smooth and there was some kind of catch. The monkey. Hey, Biggin. Playtime's over. Is everything okay, Yar? <laughs> not gonna get back up again. Narp. Seek <laughs> <laughs> the castle. Oh my God! What happened to your peace lily? <laughs> Watch him and call your dad. Tell him I was right. Bust this thing wide open. If I need this. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> You're probably right, it's all of them. That group, that circle. I think it's the that's the sketchy group, yeah. Yep. So it's like a cult. You'll all be delighted to hear that the tenacious Sergeant Angel has been taken care of. We will now be able to concentrate on the eradication of our hoodie infestation. Quite right. Nothing will stand in our way. Oh, I beg to differ, Mr. Weaver. <laughs> My, he is tenacious, isn't he? <laughs> you suspicion of it's all about the greater good. The greater good. <laughs> An appalling act of... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You murdered him for that? <laughs> 
So Eve deserved to die too. Oh, she did have a very annoying laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and George Merchant? He had an awful house. <laughs> awful. <laughs> Cousin Leslie was a terrible shame. But it seems she was set on moving away. We couldn't have her, Sherry. We can't have her. No one can. <laughs> How can this be for the... These people died for no reason, no reason whatsoever! Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh! Hello, Nicholas. I had a feeling. I was like you once. His son's gonna have to rise up. You say this is all about winning the best village award? This is the best village, Nicholas. <laughs> you see the people. <gasps> Not his friend! Come on, Nicholas, you haven't got it. But maybe he's playing along and he's gonna help him. I don't know, just a thought. Or maybe maybe it's the plant that he bought for him that will help turn him to the good side. Because they definitely had a real connection. <laughs> Hasn't been a recorded murderous sound for 20 years. There's a reasonably accommodative view. That's awful. I'll make sure everyone gets there. Oh my gosh, they killed all of them. Don't come do hard on these clowns. Wait, wait, there's gonna be the swan. Please be the swan. Oh. Like, how's he gonna get out of this? <laughs> goodness no yeah that that thing there remember he put the pocket the the, the pad oh wait a minute. who put it there him the guy who just stabbed him okay see so he he knows what he's doing he's he's playing along i'm telling you i don't want to be disappointed here Ta -da. <laughs> what are you doing saving your skin that, that's right i just said it was his special Clubby, I thought it was about wrapping people on the knuckles and sending them on their way. He's appointing himself judge, jury, and executioner. He's not judge, Judy, and executioner. <laughs> judge, Judy. <laughs> He's my dad. Go back to London. There's nothing you can do. Why did they say London? <laughs> we can do it together. You and me. Partners. It's Sanford. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> you see, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna get a weapon. Sorry. He's ready. Yes. So the people there are just really out of it. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> He's coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> Open your door. Yes, come on. Boom. Yes. <laughs> Doctors, please. Let us stop. He can't be trusted either. I think he's uh, a part of yeah, it. Yeah, I think he was in the, the original meeting. Yeah. Here. You may not be a man of God, but surely you're a man of peace. I know right, and I know wrong. Oh, grasshopper. I knew he'd have a gun. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, you knew he'd have a vest on. 
drop him. <laughs> You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, mother. <laughs> Danny, step away from the sergeant. No, Dad. Danny. <laughs> we could be real police officers and help us bring an end to this absurd story. You ever wondered why, why the crime rate in Sanford is so low, and yet the accident rate, it's so high? <laughs> so they really are just still. <laughs> the accident rate is so high. Oh, he's got some there, huh? You've got some in there. I know. He is a demon from round here! Maybe. It's time to give it up, sir. <laughs> Stay here with Saxon and hold everything down. Head out. Officers, let's go. Head out. <laughs> Is this what you really, really want? Yeah. So like Andy, this is what I need. Uh, he's in the freezer. Just say cool off. No, I didn't say anything actually. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's pretty epic. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of girl on girl. <laughs> and she just does her laugh. Like a little miniature castle. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like the town. It's like a miniature version. Oh, the ginger nut gets it! <laughs> ah! I take offense to this. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Out. 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 Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Not your village anymore. You did good, kid. Ta. What's your name? Aaron Ernst. <laughs> oh, he's gonna land on it. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. Oh man. It's a tough way to go. <laughs> it's over, Danny. Really? Uh... <laughs> it's 
Plenty of ice cream at the station. Isn't that right, Danny? Like he's gonna live and still go to jail. <laughs> well, it just went through there. <laughs> He's gonna get him in the butt. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's just gonna do what I said earlier. <laughs> the swan. <laughs> I feel like I should say something smart. You don't have to say anything at all. <laughs> into the whole operation. Now, story perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we need you back. The figures have gone a little squiffy in your absence. <laughs> I kind of like it here. Besides, we have to do a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> a bloody busybody! No! 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 I not again! Not again. I, I was afraid of that. Ooh! Ooh! Shut the door. Oh! Oh! Um! What? Everybody? Hold on, Daddy. Just hold on. Hold on. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Just hang on. So now he's been shot in a fatal place and been an explosion. <laughs> I, I had a feeling he might die. He's like, no. Oh, for real? Why are we always gonna kill him? Like the bestie. Hope these are okay. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> For his mother. Aww, yeah. Oh, good. I'm so glad he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that was um that was hot fun. What an experience. That, that was an experience. Man, that was so much fun. It was. Uh Natalie, do you want to start first? You want me to go first? <laughs> Well, like I, I was thinking at first, it was like compared to the other movie with them, Shaun of the so, Dead. Yeah, Shaun of the Dead that we had seen. I thought like I kind of the first few minutes, I was like, man, I don't know if I'm as into it. But then it was like at a certain point, it took off, and then it just got more and more interesting, actually, and and humor, and great comedy, and great storylines, and it, yeah, I just I thought it was great. Yes. Okay. So you guys, again, had recommended us watch this and like Shaun of the Dead, I feel like this, this has kind of like an indie feel. And I actually, right. I, I looked it up that the budget at the time was like 8 million, yeah. which I know even with inflation, that's still like, if that, with that same price, that would be such a tiny, so it kind of is like an indie film, like right. such a small right. budget, but it just goes to show how vitally important a good script and when that is executed well yeah uh, because both Shaun of the dead and then hot fuzz uh i just think we're great uh i guess british comedies but we like british comedies and even down to in both movies there's a style with the camera where yes. they show things like quickly and it's, and it's humorous has, and almost has a yeah a comedy of its own yes just, like in between so it's like yeah i just think they do such a great job yeah edgar wright did a great job with the, both of these movies um, I, I just, again, I, the buddy kind of situation you've got yet again with those two and I enjoyed the different take. I love, I really enjoyed Shaun of the Dead, but I actually am not like a huge zombie person. So it's hard for me to tell you which one, it's almost hard for me to pick which one I think is better after one viewing. I'd have to watch I, both of them like a couple more times, I think. Same here, but almost like after watching this one, I'm like, I think I like this one more. Well, this one ends, well, they both end on, I guess, a good note. But but I will say this as we move into rating. With Shaun of the Dead, I said it lost a half point because his buddy died. 
But in this one, that was not the case. They did it right. Uh, and I would also want to say, too, I did enjoy, obviously, I can't mention Timothy Dalton was a lot of fun in this movie. Yeah. The whole cast. They all, that's the thing, too, that the way their performances and their, their facial expressions, like, there's just so much talent, I feel yes. like, in this group. Yes. And... I also, like, I need to think about the, the themes, like, of Shaun of the Dead were more obvious, but I feel like Edgar Wright, these movies, they That's also... That's what I love too. There's, like, messaging, sort of, that you can kind of, like, you know, identify with, in a way, or something. Yes, like, kind of universal messaging, kind right. of about life and society. That And I, I'm thinking of, with this one, I, there's some that I, I think kind of even the way people can just go along, as they keep saying, for the greater good. Right. Um, but, yeah, I enjoy how they even kind of put kind of a message in each one one of these but again like good general messages that that people can appreciate and, and, and that are truthful that speak to society in a way exactly and then the like the bromance they yeah. kind of like gave each other what they were kind of lacking yes you know and so it's like that kind of played out really sweet too yes we're like in Shaun of the dead he was kind of a hindrance to his character right. and this one they both like helped he was each kind of other holding him back yeah well in Shaun, of the, Shaun of the dead and then in this one they like you said they both kind of had what the other one needed so yeah. i really enjoyed this I movie loved it. I thought it, it was really good it, it obviously where Shaun of the dead was a fun take on zombie movies this being like a fun take on like the cop but the buddy cop action movie uh and just a lot of fun a lot of fun uh so now how do i rate this out of five uh we do on a system of five hoots five being the max level of enjoyment again i took a i took off a half because his buddy died in Shaun of the dead so on this one, I'm just going five out of five. Oh, it's it's a five out of five for me, definitely. Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. I, I came away really just kind of loving the movie. Yeah, I thought I would because I really enjoyed Shaun of the Dead, but that that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. That's all I can say about it. Great script, great, uh, well executed. Um, I just I, I'm starting to be a fan of Edgar Wright and, and this yes, crew. Yes, yes. They might need to do a few more. <laughs> They say they're not. I don't know where I've seen that. Oh, really? I, yeah, I think so. I read that. Well, we like, need them. We, I'd read when we'd uh, done the first one. We need them to come up with one more, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> at least. I mean, well, I mean, the actors specifically, oh, too, I think well, is the one saying it. We need we need uh, Simon Pegg to, to get on board. <laughs> but, uh, yes, that's our thoughts on Hot Fuzz. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Do you like this or Shaun of the Dead more? Do you like them kind of even? Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the, hit the subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember, remember to, to be, be a force of light. light. All right. Bye, bye guys.